Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and here are a few tips and tricks. I had a lot of people ask me if I would upgrade, what would be the best way to upgrade, what uh, is the difference between a clean install, a upgrade pad, the regular upgrade pad, and what are some of the things that we should do before upgrading to have the best chances at a successful upgrade. So, you know, right now what we see is that it seems to be a good rollout, but it's still only 24 hours since the release, so we don't have a lot of data yet, but we'll be looking at all the information, of course, through the week and, and the, the next few weeks as the May 2019 update is rolling out. First, to address the difference between a clean install and a upgrade install, a clean install refers to erasing your hard drive and installing a fresh new copy of Windows 10. And you can do that by using the media creation tool. I posted a video yesterday where to get the Windows 10 download. You can download Windows 10 from the Microsoft Web Store, um, the website, sorry, and uh, it's a free download. Of course, you do need to have a uh, either a license or already have Windows 10 installed so that it knows that you have Windows 10. That refers to really just a stripped down version of Windows 10 with the bare minimum and it's often a good idea to do this from time to time because Windows 10 can get bloated over time with all the software and all the things you do and that kind of you know push, pushes a fresh new copy of it and has the bare minimum so it usually runs faster and is a better um, a better time to upgrade so from time to time for example I, I try to you know do this about once a year so because we have two major updates well what's going to happen is how we'll be um, <coughs> taking each second version so for example now I upgraded but yeah, you know in 19H2 or 20H1 next year at, at the latest I'll probably do a clean install just to you know make things fresh and new again it does help your computer run faster sometimes if you find that your computer is slow uh, it will probably give it some speed because of all the, the, the bloating that happened over months and years of use is gone. So it's a great way to do so. But a clean install also means you got to back up everything because you'll actually uh, erase everything from the hard drive. So if you've got some important files, um, you know, you got to back them up somewhere. If you have some, if it's not the files, if you have some programs, make sure that you take note of every program that you have and where you download them and so on before you continue. A upgrade path is also very good. I upgraded from May, the uh, October 2018 update here to the May 2019 update on this machine. It works flawlessly and I kept my files and my programs. Typically that is the path that a lot of you will be choosing because it's simpler for most people. And also, um, you know, you'll keep everything that you have pretty much. The problem is if you had problems in October 2018, it might actually move those problems to the May 2019 update. That's one thing you need to know. You know, it's not a magical fix, especially an upgrade is not a magical fix. It's bringing what you have into that new version. That means it's bringing problems that you might have into May 2019 update. So you got to remember that. But if you don't have any problems, it might upgrade very well, like I do, like I have here, a, a great upgrade and uh, you'll be keeping your files and of course you still should back up because you never know what could happen these are big installs you know this is a full install of windows when that happens so you know backing up is probably a good idea now what are the best options to upgrade what should i do to actually make sure my success is as the highest level possible first of all unplug everything from your usb ports Every device you have on the USB ports, um, and, you know, except the most essentials, you know, maybe you got a, a wireless mouse or keyboard and stuff like that, that you can keep in. But, you know, unplug the printer and the, the unplug uh, the external hard drives and unplug everything. And then start the upgrade. Why? Because this is not new in Windows 10. As a tech guy for many years, um, you know, installing Windows or upgrading windows always has been more problematic when too many devices are plugged in on the, the computer 
And so by unplugging everything, you maximize the chances of everything going right. And then you can plug them in back on your computer one by one. Wait, make sure that, you know, plug in the printer, make sure it works, everything's all right. Then plug in whatever other devices you have. Like I said, one by one and verifying at each step that each are working. The other thing that you might want to do is it's time to do a cleanup. Go into your programs and uninstall unwanted software. Uninstall programs you might have, you know, installed on your computer two years ago and you suddenly realize, wow, I installed that, but I don't never use it. Why keep it? Just uninstall everything that is not necessary. That also will help you maximize your upgrade chances. The less programs are installed, the safer the upgrade will probably be also at the same time. And you know, it's a good time to make that little cleanup and remove all the software you don't use anymore or that you don't want. Or maybe you tried something, but it wasn't what you wanted. You never uninstalled it. Well, why not? It's time to do that. And it's going to, you know, at the same time, you're going to have regain some disk space uh, on your computer. So that's pretty much how and why and, you know, what you should do. Uh, these steps should be, in general, a good time to, uh, you know, do a uh, upgrade. You might want to do a disk cleanup also, remove all the unnecessary, uh, you know, files that are, were left behind by all sorts of uh, programs and temporary files and so on. Uh, that might be uh, also a good idea. You know, having the least amount of things that the computer needs to do and that the install needs to do, the better it will be and the better the upgrade chances. That said, May 2019 update should technically be a very safe upgrade. They tested this so much that it would be hard to understand that they didn't really do a good job this time around on the May 2019 update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.